What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper today, bring you a video guys, and as promised as on the poll, I've got it guys, a cooling pad for the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. If you haven't already guys, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, post two videos a week, um, uh, two videos every week. Um, we're gonna get, I got lots more and lots more videos coming for you guys. Sorry for the quality, do plan on getting a better camera as the future progresses here, but for now we are on just my phone, doing the best I can here. This is a voiceover recording too, so I can bring you all the accurate information on this cooling pad. So this is a cooling pad. Link down in the description below if you want it for yourself. It was about $40. I did quite a few research on um, a lot of them. There are a lot of them. So you don't have to go with this one. You can go with different ones. Um, a lot of them do offer uh, different color settings and stuff like that. This is the power cable right here. It's just a normal USB, USB to USB. You can plug it into your, I plug it into my main computer or you can plug it up to a wall or any charging port with a USB hookup. Um, it also has a USB hookup. That's the charging port. Uh, it does come with uh, two things on it, or yeah, you're going to see a power button, you can change the lights on it, the brightness, and you can change the fan speed, or not the brightness, you can change the colors, excuse me. Um, I don't think you can change the actual brightness on it. So this is a cooling pad, again, for a laptop. It doesn't have to just be for the HP Pavilion. It can be for any laptop. These are the two little um, holders right here that you can arch it up, so you can arch up the... Um, little cooling pad here to circulate air airflow so to speak and um, right here as you can see I'm gonna turn it on real quick it is blue lights and on the sides you do have different kind of like rainbow colors again you have to plug it up with a USB right here once after you've done that it should just power on right after that and then it has about five it has five speeds so you can turn it up to the fifth speed which would be the highest speed um, the fans will go uh, I have to say guys definitely Definitely really liked it. I mean if nothing else, it's just kind of cool to look at it kind of adds a little bit more scenery To the laptop to me kind of reminds me of my PC with the uh, I have a bunch of uh, Colored fans and everything inside so it kind of reminded me of that So basically kind of like a gaming desktop PC setup without the PC uh, desktop you're using a laptop obviously So it definitely was cool in that aspect to use it um, You can uh, arch it up and it has a little uh, stand right here that you can choose which levels you want to so it kind of arched up I do keep it flat for this video just for purposes so you guys can see uh, later on we do switch over here in just a second to the actual gameplay I'm using Fortnite in this example the reason we're gonna switch over to the gameplay is so I can actually do a screen recording so you guys can see the temperatures up close in the left hand corner as always uh, this is with the laptop turned on real quick so you guys can see it. Uh, I promise you guys the video was recorded right after this video. So right after it switches over here, it was literally me launching Fortnite here at the end of this little uh, segment here. And then we jump right into the video on Fortnite. But this is the little settings you don't have down here. This is the laptop sitting on it, of course, uh, and everything like that. And I do launch Fortnite here in just a moment. Uh, I do have to say, uh, overall, the speeds I was very, or uh, the temperatures, excuse me, I was very pleased with. So, if Fortnite will launch, took a second, and there we go. We got Fortnite launched, and guys, this is the next segment of the video where you're going to see me just playing the gameplay. So now we're on the uh, Fortnite here. with the, uh, We are still on the cooling pad for the HP Pavilion that I bought. Now this, is you may notice the big letters that came across, this is while off the charger. So a lot of you guys, or some of you, um, and you're right, I did a little research into it. So I've been saying, why are your temperatures so high, why are your temperatures so high? Okay, so we are in performance mode before we even continue playing a solo online. Again, we're on performance mode, uh, which is one of my last videos that we did. Uh, so, anyways, my temperatures right now, as you can see, these are the normal temperatures that I've gotten ever since I got the laptop. Nothing's changed. These actually are a little lower. Typically, I would get about 70 to 60. With the cooling pad, you can see a significant difference. So, I have gone down. This is the normal. Around the normal temperatures, I would get about, would be about 70 to, uh, excuse me, 60 to 75. In this video right now, you can see the temperatures are as low as 53. Uh, it does jump back up to the 60s. 60s. Um, uh, but, I mean, I was really blown away with how much it really helped. Um, one thing you are going to notice, and here in just a moment, the temperatures are going to rise, and you're going to see my frames rise. Okay, so right now we're at 60 FPS. Uh, it's not capped or anything. We are off the charger. This is just off the charger, normal gameplay. Like I said, this is my normal temps. Here right now, 
my, my, you can just see my frames just shot up. So did my CPU. So this is on charger. So a lot of you guys have been saying, why are your temperatures so high when you do videos and stuff like that? I don't understand. So to get these frames, to my knowledge from the research that I've done, you do have to usually keep it on the charger. Now, some people have had the opposite effect where they take it off the charger and get better battery uh, performance, I guess, for the GPU and stuff. I'm not 100% certain why that is. However, this is the experience that I've had. So, while it's on the charger, we get the 200 FPS on performance mode, etc. But, we get higher um, CPU. So, a lot of people saying that's dang, why is your CPU that high? That's not normal. So, actually, it is normal. While on the charger, especially if you're playing games, the CPU being at like around 90 ish, uh, close to 100, is pretty normal because of you on the battery so don't be concerned with that if you are you can simply take it off the battery but you are going to probably lose frame uh lose some frames it will cap it at like 60 to my, to my knowledge mine does anyways some people may have different effects as uh, i've seen other people stated in the comments down below but this is the effect that i've gotten Again, guys, the temperatures did drop a little bit. Typically, it's at 97, 98, which it did stay towards the end of the video. It did drop a little bit to the 94, 95-ish after the recording of this video and kind of stabilized there. So there was a significant difference a little bit after the, um, with the cooling pad. So this is still on the cooling pad. But again, guys, this is kind of, uh, the cooling pad definitely lowers the temperatures. So if you're looking to get one, they're pretty inexpensive. I got that mine for 30 to $40. Uh, description down below if you guys want to get the same one really cool and nifty to use and like I said we did get um, definitely a significant temperature drop in the CPU and the GPU um, which CPU is typically more important sometimes and we did get a big drop when we we're not on the charger but for those wondering why the temperature is so high that would be because it's on the charger guys again be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching